Well, everybody, we're back on the CJ5 this afternoon. It's about uh, 94 degrees outside, and uh, yeah, it's hot. But anyway, I got the red RTV silicone on the back side of the actual intake gasket. This is the fiber one. The uh, metal one that was in behind that fell all apart, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to use straight silicone. And uh, I know it seems odd, but... The race car guys do it with their manifolds, you know, their headers. That's just like a 3 8 or a 5 16 piece of steel there that everything's welded onto, and they just bolt it right up with silicone on it. And they run cherry red all during the race on them pro stocks and stuff, and they never fail. That silicone will hold it. So what I've done, due to the fact that this, the intake is set back the depth of the intake fiber gasket and then the other gasket went over all of it so what i've done is i've i've put a i've smeared it around a little bit where the intake's gonna go and it might squeeze out on the intake i'm not worried about it worst it'll do is suck a piece through the engine i don't think it'll hurt nothing but uh, i got it pretty thick so that that'll squeeze out on all the actual exhausts should get a hundred percent squeeze out and uh should have no noise we'll see so I'm going to go put the camera over the other way and we'll see what happens. Now, if we can get this in here, get that side on that stud. Come on. There we go. Now. So what I'm going to try to do is pull this up even. I'm actually going to tap it because these intakes, it's got dowel pins on both ends. So I'm going to get me a hammer, do some tapping. I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're going to try this a second time. We've unbolted the two manifold halves, which I should have probably done. Now, all I got to do is get those back two bolts in the exhaust right there. And then this should tip right down. I'll get that damned PCB valve out of that. Oh, jeez, I'm crow. Can you believe that? There we go. Now, there we go. Nothing to it. Just got to have everything loose. Now we gotta pick up. Oh. oh, that ain't the right one. This one here is the right one. Get this to hold that so it won't keep flopping around. Now we gotta get this side in. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Now, there's a lot of things got to go all together at the same time. I'm going to go get some oil for these because they're bone dry. They go down in here because you got to snug that together while you're sucking it together on the actual engine. So there's several things got to go all at the same time. Um, I'll bring you back in a little bit. Well, <clears throat> I actually got going on here before I forgot to remember to turn the camera on, but... Anyway, we're kind of going along here. I don't want to tighten that right up wicked tight. Because we got to do everything together here. This uh, copper coat, I don't know if it amounts to anything, but it'll help lubricate it to put it together anyway. If this stuff runs so hot, I don't know if anything will really keep it from seizing up later. Well, I got it bolted on, and as you can see, back side of the, right here, you know, there's squeeze out everywhere, all the way around. I got good squeeze out down here around it. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'm basically metal to metal against all the actual manifold, and the intake's got this gasket in between it. So, we should be all set. I didn't put this gasket here back in because I didn't have one. I'm right metal to metal on that also. But it shouldn't bother, I hope. Um, 
you know, it's a gamble. <clears throat> I'm going to buy the other set of uh, the intake set anyway. Put it on the shelf in there in case this does fail. But for right now, that's what we're going to do. Um, I just went and got some good quality fine thread knots for the exhaust. I'm going to slide that up in. I'm not going to film it. That's just a dub, you know, just slide it up in two knots. Um, and other than that, it's a reassembly. Shouldn't take any more than, I don't know, another 15, 20 minutes to get it all together. That's if the exhaust slides right in. So I'll bring it back in a little bit. Well, it's been about 20 minutes. I got everything on but the air cleaner. Um, yeah, I just got done hooking up the fuel line. Got the emission line hooked up. Throttles hooked up. Carburetor's all tight. Uh, I'm going to leave the uh, intake off for a minute in case I need to get down to the screw on the back. It's a lot easier, easier to see it. So anyway, let's we'll see if she'll start. No sense to pump it, I don't think. I don't think there's any gas in the bowl, but you never know. Oh, I got the power shut off. You know what they say, safety first. So anyway, yeah. Guess I wasn't as ready as I thought I was. Guess there was some fuel in the bowl. Oh, no mess. That's nice. Of course, it's not uh, adjusted now. I think it's too rich now. That's a pain in the butt to get to that screw. Now it just needs to be warmed up, I think. I got a leak somewhere. Yeah, the uh, manifold gasket didn't seal. I didn't know if it was gonna. See if she'll tighten up. Probably not. I'll probably have to buy a new. That's a real queer um, gasket down in there. No. Yeah, I can feel it. It's on the front side right here. It didn't seal. Yeah, that's all right. Not the end of the world. The rest of it sounds pretty good, though. Starting to get warmed up. Guess I'll have to get me one of those manifolds. Or head up gaskets, I guess you'd call it. Um, yeah, not bad. I'll take it. A lot better than it was. Well, we'll shut this thing off before I get carbon monoxide poisoning. That's gonna be it for tonight. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go on upstairs now. Because this this fumes here, they'll get out of here in a little while. But uh, I'm not gonna hang around down here. And uh, yeah, so it was almost 100% of a success. I just got to get into one of them gaskets. Um, yeah, we're going to call it a win. And uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed, everybody.
keep safe. Don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe, like I said before. I'd really appreciate it. Um, yeah, the old 232, I guess we'll live again. We know what the problem was. Talk to you later.